A cardiac radionuclide image, cardiac scintigraphy is obtained by injecting a radionuclide into the peripheral. Circulation and imaging with the gamma camera. The emitted gamma rays are focused using a collimator and the anatomical origin and time of isotope decay is transformed into an image. The radiopharmaceuticals used for single photon. Myocardial perfusion imaging include thallium potassium analog and technetium 99 m and 99 MTC. The tracers used for positron emission tomography PET include oxygen 15, carbon 11, and fluorine 18, which may be coupled to physiologically active molecules such as fatty acids, 11C labeled fatty acids, and deoxyglucose. 18 if labeled deoxyglucose. Planar and single photon emission, computed tomography. SPCT images are widely acquired for the assessment of the presence and severity of coronary disease, detection of myocardial viability, myocardial wall mass, and global ventricular function. The presence of coronary disease and myocardial. Viability can be assessed on rest and stress images that are induced by exercise or pharmacological agents such as dibutamine. Typically, 99 MTC is the myocardial perfusion agent of choice. The patient is usually subjected to pharmacological or exercise stress just before termination. Of the protocol, the isotope is injected and its myocardial. Fixation represents blood flow in the stressed state. The 99 MTC MIBI 2 methoxy isobutyl isonitrile attaches to the myocardium in proportion to the instantaneous regional perfusion. Approximately 60 minutes later, images are obtained using SPCT and reformatted to represent images perpendicular to the long and short axis of the heart in some departments, the 99 MTC MIBI injection is repeated the next day at rest and rest scans are compared. For discordant or concordant areas of activity, a FAG 1.8, a discordant deficit indicates a region of ischemia, whilst a Concordant deficit, no isotope visible on the stress or exercise study, is due to the presence of an infarct or scarred non-viable myocardium. It is possible to use different isotopes and perform the two phases of the same study on the same day in addition to areas of regional ischemia or infarction. It is possible to analyze the ventricular function gated SPCT. Myocardial perfusion images that are synchronized with the ECG to determine the onset of systole and diastole are used to estimate the area of the ventricle in systole and diastole. The cross-sectional areas are used to calculate the three-dimensional ventricular volume and hence the ejection fraction. An alternative method is to use a first pass radionuclide angiogram where the ejection fraction is estimated based on the change in radioactivity over time. Radionuclide imaging can also be used to assess the presence of myocardial necrosis using tracers such as 99 MTC, pyrophosphate that localize to infarcted myocardium. Most intense localization usually occurs 48 to 72 hours after infarction. However, serum troponin has largely superseded this radionuclide technique to detect myocardial infarction.